Austin Booth got the surprise of a lifetime when bikers from across the country escorted him to Flagler Airport near Daytona Beach. Why are you in the plane? Uh, I don't know really. <laughs> Austin wasn't even supposed to live past nine years old, but recently got to live it up in the skies. Alabama and Florida members of the Punisher's Law Enforcement Motorcycle Club met Austin and took up his cause and then took him to the skies, hooking him up with the organization called Teens in Flight, who let him fly the plane and be a pilot for a day. It was pretty good. We saw some sharks. We went across the ocean. We, all, we went to Palaka, and there was a lot of turbulence. If you'd like to find out how to help that organization help more kids, find a link on the Biker Dad blog at WKRG.com. And check this out, not something you see every day. The Florida Highway Patrol says a woman is in critical condition after slamming her motorcycle into a house. It happened early Friday morning in Panama City. FHP says she ran a stop sign, hit a car parked in the driveway, then ricocheted off that car hitting the garage. FHP is investigating exactly how this happened. You can see the video on WKRG.com on the Biker Dad blog. We've been telling you about the last ride of the year in Stockton, Alabama this week. The tiny town of only 700 or so nearly doubles in population for a few hours each year when hundreds of bikers from across the country roll in, have lunch, and they just turn around and go right back home. It's amazing. It's, I'm, I'm blown away. I heard about 50 people were supposed to show up. So uh, this is uh, pretty impressive. Mark Bialt, who we interviewed earlier this week, ended up being the biker from the farthest away, Orange County, New York. But the longest ride was actually awarded to a man from Arkansas who just took the long way down. Well, that was the last ride of the year. Now time to hit the road for the first one. Hopefully 2021 will be a bit of a smoother ride than 2020 was. For the Biker Dad blog at WKRG.com and WKRG News 5, this is Chris Best.